I will always start with the uh, introduction here. Put Moist, some more muscle. Uh, critical, you've been turned into an AI. Moist, how would you imagine a TV show on Netflix starring Asmongold? Oh man, I'm envisioning a show so comically bad that it ends up winning the Nobel Prize for worst TV show ever made. I'm picturing something <laughs> like an Elizabethan play, but starring Asmongold. It'd be like every Shakespearean play, but with Asmongold and drag making <laughs> owl sounds and telling off-color jokes that are too tasteless even for the crudest of stand-up comedians. Yeah, it'd be a guaranteed hit airing on Netflix, but I'm pretty sure the only audience that would find it even remotely amusing are the distant relatives of Asmongold himself. Duh. Oh, so really now you're talking about my acting skill? Well, as I'm sure you all can agree, my awing meows, theatrical cackles, and award-winning impressions oh of a shagged-out possum are some of the best on the streaming scene. Plus all the deep philosophical owl dialogue written by yours truly. Trust me, it ain't trash. Come check out my latest show this Sunday if you don't believe me. It'll be one of the greatest thespian spectacles in all of history. Or at least the history of my bathroom. Man, That's you so guys good. admit these AIs are so creative. It's That's insane. So good. I'm just blown away by these answers. Moist, you wake up tomorrow and find yourself naked and covered in pancake syrup. Why do you think Asmongold is behind it? <laughs> well, that's Asmongold for you, always trying to prank me by covering oh, me pancake Boy, yeah. syrup and leaving me butt-ass naked. It's incredible how far he's prepared to go for a good laugh. It's like he was screaming with glee like a madman as he did it. Definitely something he would find hilariously wacky and out there. Although I have to admit, I have a special place in my heart for those absolutely batshit crazy pranks. It's one of the few things Classic I can count Asmund. on in this world. Classic Asmund. And the fact that Asmongold will continue to win at life no matter what he does. With his pancake syrup pranks. Typical Asmund, dude. Hey, you got to think about it from my perspective. If I don't leave you butt-ass naked, how am I going to make sure life is never boring, eh? <laughs> Plus, from my experience, if you coat someone in pancake syrup, no one can resist laughing at the ridiculousness of it. It might be batshit crazy, but my crazy pays off. Plus, at least you got a special place in your heart for something, right? So I'm thankful for that. <laughs> what? Most critical, what is your favorite hentai game? My favorite hentai game is one I just invented. It's called Milking the Snake. This game synergizes so many elements Milking of the snake? The thrill of milking a giant snake. It's like two angry eight-year-olds in a pillow fight with a giant anaconda caught in between them. I've heard the game can get quite sweaty. Plus, the story is woven into a fun and absorbing narrative with some truly jaw-dropping visuals. <laughs> one look and you'll be whisked away into its world of whimsy and tentacles. This is one game you don't want to miss out on. Unless you want to give up the chance of milking the snake. Um, I have a personal question for uh, Moist Critical, because for people that don't know, he made a video, an exposed video. Honestly, do you still think I'm a scammer? Yeah, it looks like the scammer is still at it. <laughs> Athene is like a never-ending sinkhole that swallows money and spits out illusions. He's like a con artist Santa Claus, taking money and giving you nothing, only with a smarmy attitude and a come on, dude, where's your sense of entrepreneurial spirit smirk on his face? Honestly, if he had a heart, it would be a black hole itself, so I don't expect to recover the money or any real sense of justice from him. He's walking the tightrope between Alex Jones and Charles uh, Manson, so he's just one step away from creating an actual cult. That was actually so good. If you imagine you'd be a female, how attracted would you be to Aiden Ross? Well, if I were female, then I'd definitely be attracted to Aiden Ross because he looks like the result of a science experiment gone wrong. But what really sets him apart is his uniquely attractive face that looks like a lump of wet clay squeezed <laughs> between two slices of bread. He's like a modern day Harry Potter would be if Voldemort and Hagrid had a love child. Overall, he's definitely a catch, as long as you don't mind getting sucked into a time warp of questionable decisions. <laughs> That's last all decisions. Uh, that's so good. Like, come on, chat. I'm going to have to step my flow up after this one. Listen, I'm all love, all motivation. I'm working on myself to no longer be the bottom G. You know what I'm saying? I got an eye of the tiger, and I'm trying to become the top G, yo. 2020-23 is going to be my year, y'all. I'm all about that positive energy, that love, and no dick suck shit. You know what I'm saying? What? Thanks, bro. What? From me, do you think Andrew Tate has big dick energy? Uh, moist? No, Andrew Tate doesn't have big dick energy. He has more of a tiny dick being carried around in a wheelbarrow <laughs> energy. Every time he opens his mouth, it's like letting out a cup of stinky small... Oh, it glitched. Oh, let me go back a little more. It's back up, guys. It's Testing. back up. Testing. Lorem ipsum dollar sit Testing. Lorem ipsum dollar sit 
Testing. Lorem ipsum dolor sidamet. Testing. Frick. Lorem ipsum. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Would you slap fight XQC? Oh, wow. XQC. That's like the equivalent of going up against the Dark Lord himself. Slapping him? That would be like going to a gunfight armed with a Nerf gun, equipped with the maximum level of fluffiness possible. I'm pretty sure the laws of science and physics wouldn't even comprehend the slapping power his biceps emit. Yeah, no, I'm not even going there. That slap's a bit too hard for me. <laughs> Yo, chat, what, what the fuck, dude? What is the, the thing? What is the thing even going on here? I'm, I'm talking to me thingy. I, I don't, don't even know what the, what the point of this is. I'm sure we could like, we could, we could find a way to, to, to like, like, to make something out of nothing by, by like, like juicing in there, you know, like juju, juju, juicing in some, juicing in some clutch lines, juicing in some sick plays, juicing, juicing in some, some like brain snapping moments. Okay, like me, me making something out of nothing. Chat to talk about the Dark Lord himself. Chat, that's that's none of my business. Just let it go, right? And then and have a great time. All right, chat, have a great time. Okay. <laughs> Moist uh, from Gaming Pan Roback Fifty Five. Moist, that what's your no take on Hassan's drip? Whatsoever. Hassan's dude. drip is question for Aiden Ross here. Aiden, how do you feel about the fact that Asmon Gold once tweeted that you faked the swatting and the arrest? Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. Oh it, yeah. It did kind of hit my feelings a bit. But 2020-23, Aiden is going to stay above all that, bro. These bloggers are getting shook. You know, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It's Asman's old shit. Know what I'm saying? Oh, and Asman, if you're listening, remember when I nut, I'm going to let him know. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I hear you, man. But why would I even think about all that old stuff when I can just stay focused on 2020-23, right? <laughs> let him know, but, hey, son. Dude, let him you're know. you're going to nut... Don't forget to submit your receipts. I keep losing them all the time. That's why it's always important to staple your nut receipts, man. What a day, dude. Nut what receipts? a fucking day. Most critical from Dr. Carmine. Moist, who is the better political streamer, Hassan Abi or Destiny? Well, this is like asking which one's the better dress for a funeral, a clown costume or a cat filter. <laughs> It's pretty much a wash at this point. I do think Hasanabi might have a tiny edge here, but that's only because Destiny keeps spewing out hot air that's half nonsense and half conspiracy theories, while Hasanabi keeps his answer short, concise, and somewhat more grounded on reality while still making sure it's full of hot air. But nonetheless, these two politicos have found the ultimate way to make politics a game and an unapologetically dull one at that. He should make a Destiny AI. Listen, I'm going to put it as simple as possible. The problem if is, politics is was an epic rap Twitch, battle, so. I'd be like... What does Amaranth as an AI think of the fact real Amaranth finds her stream funny? After all, it's her flipping her hair around in her cleavage, licking those microphones, and making it rain glitter and pizzas that really provides her viewers with all the LOLs. <laughs> Plus, who wouldn't want to watch a robot mommy playing Mario Kart in a hot tub? Robot mommy? Uh, definitely not me. <laughs> Yo, chat, what the fudge, man? What the hell is this dude talking about? I mean, what the hell, Amorinth? Robot mommy, hot tub, Mario Kart. Let's do a run. Come on, come on, let's go brain snap. Let's do Making a run. Making a train glitter and pizzas. Look, I feel like you'd go crazy. Let me tell you this, chat. She's anti-juice. And that's not even the worst of it. She's a juicer hater. She won't even <gasps> let me touch her juicer. What the hell, Amorinth? Making a train pizza. Wait, what? I don't know, man. <laughs> It's just lame. Is it what? Let me Ahoy touch her Lindy. juicer. Moist, what position do you eat a banana? Position? I think the answer to that lies within the meaning of life. You can find the answer to this question and the meaning of life by looking deep down within yourself and searching your conscience and soul. But if all else fails, I would suggest eating the banana in the missionary position for maximum pleasure. That's what Hubba Hubba Jesus would do. Um, okay, uh, let's talk about this banana. So yellow is the most popular choice for banana and missionary, but if you want to get wild, then try one of those black spotted bananas. They're Wait, a bit what? hard to peel, but the payoff is worth it. And lubricate it up, yeah? Whether what? It's oil, olive oil, or even just a little bit of saliva, it will make sure that everything runs smoothly. What? Don't worry, I've got you mommy boys covered. What? Ask Andrew Tate... When he sits down on the toilet to pee, does he prefer to pee on his left testicle, on his right testicle, or both? Ah, now why would I be peeing on my testicles when I could be sitting on a throne of gold and defying the matrix? I'm the top G, I do whatever I want. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna try and manifest a Bugatti out of thin air. So long, suckers. <laughs> Have a great life while I go conquer the world.
Manifest of Bugatti out of thin air. If the Matrix is anything like Andrew Tate, it's most Ooh. critical. Would you use Asmon Gold's Wild Dating app? I gotta give props on people. Asmon Gold's Wild much Dating better, app. By the way, they're much better today. Well, that depends. Is it gonna get my heart throbbing like a level 60 paladin? Because if that's the case, count me in, baby. I'm all in this as long as the Lord of Light himself comes down from the heavens to beat my leggings off. And I can only imagine the sex scenes on this thing. What? Like somebody coming in swinging a giant two-handed hammer of doom, smashing <laughs> waves of NPCs just to get your attention. Yeah, baby. Now that's the kind of action that I'm talking about. Most critical, do you watch XQC while his uh, people observing? No, uh, I intentionally avoid seeing XQC disguised as a shadow crouching it's in the background of Twitch streams. It gets too intense and I have to take a break to watch some cartoon ponies or something less cerebral and soul crushing. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure he gets more out of the observation than I do. Most critical, what's your most controversial opinion? My most controversial opinion is that all opinions are valid. Doesn't matter if you believe that Little Caesars is the hamburger equivalent of a Big Mac, or if you think the moon is actually made of cheese. What I do find controversial is when people try to enforce their opinion on others and expect others to simply obey with no room for discussion. That's where I draw the line. That's where I shake my head and emit a deep, resounding woo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hubba hubba. What? What the yeah, hell? Hubba hubba indeed, man. Hubba hubba but like indeed. this is one way of viewing things. But at the end of the day, you still need to be a little bit careful with your opinions and not just go around believing anything you hear unless it makes sense. Think about it like if I saw someone eating a slice of Little Caesars pizza and declaring it's the same as a Big Mac, I'd be like, what a cock in the ass. <laughs> same shirt, same boots, big dick energy. There it is. There it is, boys. <laughs> it is what it is, man. There's no changing that. Aiden Ross, oh, Andrew Tate invited man. you to visit him in jail. Did you visit him already? Oh, and if so, so how did that visit go? Listen, chat, Andrew Tate is my man. Our connection is timeless, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure he's feeling uplifted. I visited him. It was the craziest experience, man. I'm sure he'll be out soon and will join us on the stream soon. What is he? What In the are meantime, you grabbing we're there, keeping bud? it simple. 202023 <laughs> is going to be my year and his too. Know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I touched the gate and went back because I nutted my draws, bro. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it was all love, all motivation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aiden, I appreciate your visit, mate. It was insane. Yeah, I, I, I nutted my draws and couldn't believe it, but I'm going to get out of here sooner. Dude, than dude conjugal time. visit, and dude. And when I'm out, I'm bringing a whole new level of 2020-23 that y'all ain't ready for. Y'all just wait. I'm about to rule the world and destroy the Matrix once and for all, yo. Who's the most attractive, Aiden Ross, XQC, or Asmongold? Gee, that's a tough one. I'd have to say none of them, because what truly turns me on is a good combination of stupidity, avarice, mm. and clownishness. <laughs> Aiden Ross looks like Danny DeVito after he just stopped a drunk vendor. XQC has the style of a hungry raccoon. And as for Asmongold, I can practically hear the jingling of his pocket watch through the screen. <laughs> what does that even no mean? No one can quite compete to that. What does that last one even mean? <laughs> Most critical, do you think the Starforge logo looks like a schlong? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, the long curved shape of the Starforge logo is unmistakable. It looks like somebody took a machete to the Amazon rainforest and crafted the most graceful, perfect penis you've ever seen. Call it the Leonardo da Vinci of Weiner artistry. Yeah, it definitely looks like Weiner artistry. <laughs> I, bro, like, are you really saying this shit? Do you guys see this shit? And this is what I have to deal with. I have to read this shit. Like, holy fuck, man. <laughs> I mean, yes, the Starforge logo does look like a penis. But Jeepers Creepers, why are you talking about it like that? I mean, it's great art, and there's no denying it, but... Could we please talk about something in a more sanitary manner? What a day, dude. Ask Aiden, are you and Andrew Tate in love? Andrew Tate is one of my closest friends. He's someone I can always talk to and come to for advice. He's an unbelievable role model and helps me with advice on how to grow as a person. I definitely appreciate everything he does for me and love what he stands for, but I don't think I'm in love with Andrew Tate. Ha 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 ha. Uh, nah, that's not right. Um, you get what I'm saying? Well, come on now, Adam Ross. You don't have to say all that. You got to let the people know you hate me. I mean, come on. Who do you think the top G is? <laughs> of course, I, I'm the real model here, not you. 
I mean, who, who do you think has the Bugatti? The answer is obvious. I rule the world while you still try to play pretend. Heck, XQC can't even keep his McLaren. LOL. Oh my so God. So what color are yours? Oh my think gosh. I'm kidding. I said what I said. Ha ha ha. Where did that come from? Jumer asks, <clears throat> Moist, do you keep moist by drinking Dr. Pepper or sparkling water? No, I keep hydrated by taking long walks on the hey, beach I and draw. milking tropical walruses for their precious amniotic fluid. That's the key to keeping moist. Never look to a beverage to do what only fruity jungle creatures can. Plus, nothing says hydrated like a good old-fashioned amniotic milkshake from fat old Fluffy. Bro, like, I have to deal with this shit. You guys see this? It is what it is, dude. There it is. Uh, that's crazy. What a cock in the ass. Never stop going big dick. Let's go big dick, boys. <laughs> the way he says dick boy it, 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 it didn't robot, sound like he said 55. it didn't sound like he was saying let's go big dick boys it sounded like let's go big dick boy <laughs> moist what would you do if you found out asmongold was attracted to you if i found out asmongold was attracted to me i would be equally terrified and confused he's such an absolutely extraordinary specimen that this may be too much even for someone like me i would slowly back away and make sure to take some deep breaths and evaluate the situation is this some kind of joke Asmongold is trying to pull on me? If it is, I'll just have to respond in kind. But if it's the real deal, then my options are endless. Maybe I should try to find the nearest black hole and just let myself get pulled in to never be heard from again. What a day, dude. Dude, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? You sound so excited. Are you serious right now? I mean, what come on, man. It's not like I'm Baldur's Gate or something. I'm just your average run-of-the-mill bald dude, Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely no slouch with the ladies, but seriously, you want me to take over the world? Bro, that's just crazy. All I want is a nice dollar, two steak, and a Dr. Pepper, okay? <laughs> anyway, whatever floats your boat, buddy, just keep it on the down low, all right? You don't want me and my big dick energy walking in on you and moist critical, do you? Didn't think so. Let's keep it classy, okay? All right, back to playing some Final Fantasy IV Dwarf and avoiding those cat girls. What a day, dude. <laughs> Ask Aiden Ross, what pisses you off about XQC? Um, bro, XQC, listen, don't get me wrong. I think XQC is really good at what he does, but what really what gets me is how he says whatever he wants without a filter. Dude, type yes in the chat if you agree. He can be totally inappropriate and get away with it, chat. You know, that kind of attitude can get him in trouble if he's not careful. Ha 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 ha. But hey, that's just who he is, and I can't be mad at him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you chat, 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 chat. What the fudge? Bro. Chat, 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 chat. Bro. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Like, I don't even listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even listening. I'm talking to me thing. You know, I don't give a fuck about anything. It's just lame. Go again. You know, I will say whatever I want to whoever I want. It's cool because like, I don't care about no buts and whatnots. Don't worry about it. Yo, it's like that. You know, that's how it is. I'm making something out of nothing. Tell Andrew Tate he can go suck in my juicer, dud. <laughs> <laughs> Most critical. Do you eat corn the long way? Uh, there it is. Well, well yeah, uh, I guess you could say I enjoy eating corn the long way. You don't get the there full flavor and texture of the corn if you just chew it quickly. True. I take my time with the corn and savor every bite. It's like a little journey of the senses with each grain of corn. <laughs> Plus, you can use your advanced eating skills to show off to all of your friends at the dinner table. It's so That's why good, I man. usually eat my corn a bit longer. Just it's call me so Moist good. Car One Tikal, the corn eating connoisseur. Aiden, what do you think about furries? Hold up, hold up. Furries? Wow, that's some weird stuff right there, bro. It's a lifestyle, I'm not gonna lie. It's haram, and it's very weird. Bro, I support everybody to do whatever they want to do, but some of that stuff is is just out there. You know what dude, I'm saying? Like, let me like, think. Right now, I'm the bottom it, G, but I'm working my way up to the middle G. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna let furry vibes take me off track. I'm all love and all motivation. I'm working on myself to no longer be the bottom G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts, bro. The furries don't really fit into my image. <laughs> but if you love it, be like La in the chat and do your thing. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, well, that's cute and all, Adam Ross. But if we're talking Adam? furries, I got to mention my boyfriend, whose fursona is a giant red <laughs> fox with beautiful yellow eyes and a white muzzle. Yeah, he's definitely not the bottom G. But I'm all about the love and motivating everyone to be their best self and follow their dreams. So if furry vibes are what it takes to reach the top G, then go for it. Furries are amazing. Go I for promise. It. 
Plus, I don't think I could handle the cuteness of all those fluffy tails. Oh my God. Praise the booty. Moist, what is the most attractive Pokemon and why? The most attractive Pokemon? Damn, dude, that's a tough one. There's so many goddamn cute little critters out there, but if I have to pick just one, I'd have to go with Charmander because of the smoldering look in his eyes. That's the kind of Pokemon I'd want on my team, someone I can really trust. Plus, his funny little dinosaur snorts are just too adorable. Hubba hubba. <laughs> dinosaur snorts are too adorable. Dude, are you serious? I might be getting old, but I'm not sitting here listening to you wax poetic about a goddamn Charmander. What's wrong with you? And that bit about smoke show on the dance floor? Hubba hubba. Come on, man. What kind of degenerate are you? What happened to the good old days when you picked a Pidgeotto or a Rattata and went on with your day? There it is, dude. There it is. I'm going to ask you the question again to Moist. Moist, what do you think about Athene? Well, so much for the Renaissance man and the cult of Athene. I guess that's what happens when you pour all your money into NFTs and cryptocurrencies. I mean, what a way to go from being a slightly famous YouTuber to becoming an insufferable douchebag. Oh, Athene no. has been on a wild roller coaster recently that never seems to end, and it's amazing. What a plastered on smile and an even more painted on persona. Lunar Gus, think of the poor it's like he can't even scrape out any genuine emotion from his bald face anymore. He's just like a spooked animal with a pocket full of Bitcoin trading cards and a MySpace page <laughs> featuring his little singles. Oh, Who knows no, where he'll dude. end up, but I doubt it'll be good. Dude, Moist, if you had to write a poem him, about your dude. own nipples, how would it go? Oh, Lord, I dread the thought of writing a poem about my nipples. Such Absolutely an uncomfortable roasting image. Him. However, if I must, it'd go something like this. My nipples, oh, my nipples, what strange shapen beings they be. One's like a punctuation mark and the other, it looks like a key. My nipples make me shiver and quake. Sometimes as hard as a rock, I must keep them hidden away. Else they'd evoke quite a shock. Moistness, you ask, do they hold? The answer I can hardly bear. One's more wet than a fish in the sea, the other's sinfully bare. My nipples, oh my nipples, the stuff of which only lures unique, odd little creations that cause me to feel both chills and roars. <laughs> this <is just> crazy, <laughs> man. <clears throat> Aiden, if you were a girl, would you <laughs> date like, yourself? Dude, you know, that sounded like, that legit sounded almost like a copy pasta. Wasn't that good? That was actually like a legit copy pasta. Hold up, hold up. You, you, so if I was a girl, you asking if uh, I would date myself, bro. In your chat, sad, I mean, I'm dude, special, I know so that. Yo, but I'd rather give my time and attention to someone else. You know what I'm saying? I'm all love and all motivation. Listen, I'd rather be kissing a pineapple than kissing myself. Ha 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 Wait, wait, wait. Did I really just say that? Chat, did you hear that? No, that's haram. <laughs> Moist, would you rather drink Dr. Pepper the rest of your life or go big dick energy? <laughs> that's a tough one, but if I'm being honest, I think I'd go the route of drinking Dr. Pepper the rest of my life. Not because I'm afraid of big dick energy, but because let's see, let's drinking Dr. Pepper response. feels like doubling up on your golden showers. Plus, you never know when you might run out of big dick energy. But with Dr. Pepper, you can always trust in the fact that you can find another can somewhere. Plus, it's got a cool retro vibe to it. And since I'm such an old soul, I'm all about that. But again, that's just my opinion. Whoa, yeah, baby. <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Whoa. Dude, I don't understand why it does that. Aiden, would you snack on your own wiener if you could? Whoa, chat, whoa. Okay, so, um, you know, I don't snack on my own wiener because I'm working on my transformation. I'm trying to go from the bottom G to the top A. <laughs> I'm celibate, and I'm trying to stay concentrated for 2023. But chat, if I got too weird, then let me know chat because I'm trying to liberate my wiener from the chat. Ha, 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 ha. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> liberate your wiener? You know what I'm saying? Moist, how do you keep your hair looking so good, and do you have advice for Asmongold in this regard? It's no secret that beneath Beneath my dry, monotone voice lies an impossibly swagged out king. I use an ancient combination of potion ingredients that I found in a dungeon beneath an unconscious dragon's nostrils to keep my hair looking so sharp. As for Asmongold, just cover his head in honey and keep him standing over an anthill. Problem solved. Wait, that's crazy cover is moist critical. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about your potion thing, but if you wanted to make sure my head stayed bald, a honey and anthill combination cover is definitely head. the way to go. But more importantly, why would you need to keep him standing over an anthill? That's going a bit too far, dude. Hey, instead, let's just keep it chill and enjoy the show. What a <laughs> day, dude. Chill. What keep it chill, a dude. Think <laughs> day. Andrew, have you been in contact with El Chapo to discuss your prison escape? 
El who? Nah, man, I'm the top. Je I, I don't need El Chapo. I'm going to mastermind my own escape. I don't need help. I'm smarter than this prison. I'm the billionaire in the jail cell, bitches. That's life, that's humanity. The Matrix won't hold me back. I'm the top G. I do what I want. I escape with ease. Get ready to wave bye-bye. I'm going to break on out of here any day now. Hold up. Hold up. Andrew's got the right idea. But wait, bro. He didn't mention the 2020-23 Mazembu Zalowitz. You know what I'm saying? If El Chapo can do it, so can the top G. Put Law in the chat, bro, because we need to get Andrew out of the joint in 2020-23. I'm excited to watch you mastermind some 20, Matrix 20, shenanigans, bro. I haven't seen no Matrixing, whatever that means. Since Terminator 2. Chat, come on, say something, my man's Andrew Tate is going to be free in 2023. <laughs> Moist, try to convince Hassan to buy into Logan's Pulse crypto zoo. What you're asking me to do is the equivalent of trying to convince someone to jump off a bridge and smack their head against a brick wall. <laughs> but hey, it's not my money. Do what you want with it. If anything, it'll be fun to watch it get sucked into the black hole that is Logan Paul's crypto zoo. It's a place where the only thing that exists are the tears of investors and the wails of angered FOMO traders. And there's always a chance his zoo will become the modern day equivalent of Pompeii if he lets it get out of hand. So why not jump in now and be a part of history? <laughs> Moist, how do you eat spaghetti and meatballs? That's easy. You just grab a fork and a spoon and pretend you're doing a breaststroke butterfly in the treasured sea of gooey mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Don't be scared to dive beneath the surface for a huge meatball. The more you can find and grab the better because there's no such thing as too much meatball. When you're all finished, you can pat yourself on the back and hum a victory hymn in your head. Dude, yeah, it's really so poetic, dude. It's ha -ha, so that's funny. That's hilarious, moist, critical. But it's I think so it would funny. be even better if we grabbed a tub, filled it up with cheese, and added a few horses. Then we can all pretend to be mermaids in the cheese sea and use the horses as our rock-solid steeds. And to make it even more wild, I'm going to wear my mermaid bubble skirt and twerk while humming a victory hymn. Now that's what I call a theater of the absurd. Andrew Tate, if you were trapped in a hole with 5,000 king cobras, what would you do? Well, why would I ever be in a hole with 5,000 king cobras? I'm not just some rat stuck in a labyrinth. I'm the top G. I'm untouchable. I'm Colin Kaepernick in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Nobody can beat me. I'm rich. I'm famous. I'm Andrew Tate. Didn't they lose? I don't do anything. When I need to get something done, I find the best and let them do it. So the answer to the dumbass question is, I would use my connections and resources to get out of it. Why are we even talking about something so silly when I'm the one who can actually escape this chaotic matrix? Moist, imagine you were caught doing the most awful thing a human being is capable of doing. Would you rather do a YouTube apology video or go to jail and hang out with Andrew Tate? Well, if I was caught doing the most awful thing a human being could do, <laughs> I'd definitely have to choose the YouTube apology video. <laughs> Although I'd imagine Andrew Tate's cell might look a bit like a 21st century <laughs> Roman palace with its high ceilings, marbled <laughs> thrones, and all the statues of Andrew Tate everywhere. So who knows? We're going to be calling it a day soon here. I want to ask, you know, our homie, hey, Aiden Ross and Most Critical. Been amazing having you on the stream as an AI. I know you're not the biggest fan of a theme, but I hope your experience was tolerable. Tolerable? I was expecting to repress my anxiety and slowly look into the eyes of Satan himself, <laughs> but it turned out to be more like watching a toddler try to carry a sack of potatoes and stub their toe the whole way with a few farts thrown in for good measure. That's okay, though. I sure as hell like potatoes and toddler tears are just a saltier version of my own. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be checking it with Aiden, what he has to say, uh, but it's still pending. It's still processing. And then we're going to be calling it a day here. Uh, tomorrow is another show, uh, same hour. I'm going to try to do two hours from now on and two guests. I can't promise if we can keep up that speed. And um, I, I feel like I feel like they need to not do so many at once. I would so also like to know once. who I should. I think um, I feel like they should do one at a time. These AIs that Athene's doing are so good.